Now, here we we get a question. This this question says a, cel a cylinder is suspended from the end of the string. The cylinder is stationary in water with axis of the cylinder vertical. Now it means that this line is perfectly vertical over here. The, all, all of the dimensions are given on the on the diagram and the good thing is i can see that the weight is given newton density is given kilogram per meter cube and the diameter is given in meters so no major conversion is required the cylinder has a weight of 0.84 newtons height h and the circular cross section diameter is this meter the density of the water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube the difference between the pressure on the top and the bottom faces is this actually this difference means that the pressure of this much of liquid this much of liquid is five hundred and twenty pascal and uh, although we are supposed to solve kinematical questions today, but this question has some parts related to pressure. And as we are preparing for exam next month, we cannot uh, skip these kind of questions. We, we need to solve all questions. Now, this one is 520 Pascal. Now, question is that we have to calculate the height. So rho G H equals to pressure 1000 into gravitational acceleration 9.8 into the unknown height equals to 520 Pascal. So H equals to 520 divided by 1. 1000 divided by 9.8 so here we get 0 0.053 0 0.053 meters now the next part happen now uh, show that the up thrust acting on the cylinder is 0 0.39 newton remember the up thrust is actually the the force that acts in upward direction and that acts because of the pressure difference at the top and the bottom of the cylinder so Up thrust equals to pressure multiplied by area. Pressure is 520 and area is pi d square 0 0.31 0 0.31 square over 4. Five twenty multiplied by pi multiply by point zero three one square divided by zero point three nine two two zero point three nine newtons and Calculate the tension in the string. So if this is the block, this is the block and tension is acting upward that we don't know what there is T. Up thrust is also acting upwards, which we have just calculated 0 0.39 
we need to know the weight of the object which is acting downward and weight of the object is 0 0.84 newton 0 0.84 remember if this is in uh, equilibrium or it is stationary it should be given this is okay this is stationary this is a very important that piece of information so as as it is stationary it means upward and downward forces are balanced that means t plus 0 0.39 equals to 0 0.84 so t equals to 0 0.45 uh, i guess let me check 0 0.84 minus 0.39. Yes, it is 0.45 newtons. Now, next part is where the kinematics comes in. The string is now used to move the cylinder vertically upward to the water. The variation of t and velocity of the cylinder is shown in the figure this. Use figure this to determine the acceleration of the cylinder at time t equals to two seconds. t equals to two seconds is here. And as I can see, it is a straight line. So I should not be bothering which portion I find the acceleration of. I can find acceleration of the whole thing. Now I need some reference lines that I draw over here. So this is exactly 10 centimeters per second. And this one is 2.5 meter per second. So acceleration will be rise over run. Rise will be 10 centimeter per second. So if I convert it into meters, it will become 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters per second. That That is rise and run will be 2.5. So, 0.1 divided by 2.5, 0 0.04 meters per second square. So answer cannot be given in centimeter per second square because uh, examiner has made uh, the, the unit, uh, provided the unit at the end of the question, which is meter per second square. So we have, to we have to convert this centimeter per second to meter per second. The top uh, face of the cylinder is at a depth of 0 0.32 meters below the surface of the water at time t equals zero. Use this figure to determine the depth of the top of the water as surface at time t equals to four seconds. So we have to calculate the distance traveled, all this distance traveled. How can we find the distance traveled? By calculating area under the graph, okay? So, area under the graph is again 1 by 2 into 4 into 0 0.1. That is 10 centimeter converted into meters. So, it will be 2 and 0 0.2 meter if something was 0 0.32 meter below the surface of water and has covered a distance of 0 0.2 meter in upward direction so the final height or the depth of the water uh, cylinder should be 0 0.32 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.12 meters. Now, 